everyone. I'm Elaine Quijano. It's good to be with you. Thanks for joining us. The Trump administration says the daily number of deaths caused by the coronavirus may double by June 1st. That's according to The New York Times, which obtained an internal model compiled by FEMA and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The document says the number of daily deaths may approach 3,000 by the beginning of next month. And during a town hall on Fox News Sunday night, President Trump said the overall death toll from the coronavirus is expected to increase from his earlier projections. We're going to lose anywhere from 75, 80 to 100,000 people. That's a horrible thing. We shouldn't. The administration is pushing back on the reported CDC projections in The Times, saying in part, quote, this is not a White House document, nor has it been presented to the coronavirus task force or gone through interagency vetting. This data is not reflective of any of the modeling done by the task force or data that the task force has analyzed. The statement also emphasized the administration's reopening guidelines. The topic was also on the president's mind Sunday. He praised states that have eased restrictions and criticized others for tightening theirs. Certain states are going to have to take a little more time in getting open, and they're doing that. Some states, I think, frankly, aren't going fast enough. I mean, you have some states that Virginia, they want to close down till the middle of, middle of June. But according to data compiled by The New York Times, seven states, Iowa, Minnesota, Texas, Tennessee, Kansas, Nebraska, and Indiana, are all seeing an increase in coronavirus cases as they reopen. Meanwhile, the Trump administration is continuing to slam China for its handling of the early stages of the coronavirus pandemic. Here's what President Trump had to say Sunday, followed by Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. They tried to cover it. They tried to put it out. It's like a fire. You know, it's really like trying to put out a fire. They couldn't put out the fire. We can uh, confirm that the uh, Chinese Communist Party did all that it could to make sure that the world didn't learn in a timely fashion uh, about what was taking place. That created enormous risk, and now you can see hundreds of thousands of people around the world, tens of thousands in the United States have been armed. Major is CBS News Chief Washington Correspondent. Ed is a CBS News